I hope this finds you well. And uh, I'm running a little late this morning, and it's just feeling slower. Just feeling a slower energy today, and maybe a little resistance. Um, how are you? Let's see. So the message that I was getting before I started was release expectations. And we have moved into autumn. We're at the beginning of the season. We just crossed over the second harvest and making our way to the third, which culminates on Halloween, which was known prior to that as Samhain, or Samhain, however you want to pronounce it. But it's about letting go. It's about releasing those things that no longer serve us, including expectations of ourselves and others and how we feel or believe, how we believe things should be, how we should relate to the world, how we should do this, that, and the other. And we're being let, asked to release the expectations the this time is a time where the earth withdraws its energy and mother earth pulls it in and because we are part of nature we tend to have this call as well to just slow down and go within. So when we're being asked to release expectations, it's more about releasing expectations that we hold for ourselves, that we often use to beat ourselves up with when we don't meet them. But yes, releasing and letting go. Mother Earth makes a beautiful show of letting go, particularly in the northern parts of the US, where I, I'm sure it occurs all over the world, but I'm familiar with the northern part of the US and um, where the, the leaves are just brilliant shades of color and how they release and let go so that they can make room for new growth come the spring. And as I was speaking, I had this card, Bat Spirit, a rebirth is assured fall out. So a rebirth is assured. When we let go, we make room for that. With the make room for the energy, make room for a rebirth. Let's see, what else do we have to say on the subject? Electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. When we do let go of expectations, and old ideas. We leave room for new ideas to come to the forefront. 2020 has been, for many people, a very, very, actually it's been more than likely a challenging year for everyone, but it's been a more challenging year for some 
than others, I feel. I know there are others who have been more challenged with the events of 2020 than we have. Yes, we have felt some inconvenience. We have felt some grief. Um, but for us, because just about everybody in my household is more introverted, it's been a time for us to withdraw, to have a reason to withdraw and spend more time within. In numerology, a seven year is a year for growth, for spiritual growth. And I've been in a seven year, so it's really, it, and prior to the COVID out outbreak, I was out there, I was doing this, I was doing that, I was doing the other, and not taking a whole lot of time for introspection and learning and growth. I mean, I was learning, I was learning how to knit and I was learning how to spin and how to, to um, process wool, to turn into yarn and but that wasn't what I was supposed to be learning. I really feel as though um, the lockdown and everything was sort to me, for me, a um, universal sign of halting and actually taking the time that I needed to focus on learning and growth this year and I really have and I continue to we're not done yet so we still have a few more months and uh, releasing releasing what we feel the year should have looked like and releasing mourning those things that we, those dreams that we desired to come to pass that didn't, and just releasing that old energy, releasing our expectations and being grateful for what we do still have, what has happened in the things that led to more growth, that led to deeper connections. Trust the great mystery. Life is a great mystery. Life itself is a great mystery and we don't know everything that is going on behind the scenes. We don't have a clear picture of the bigger picture. And I am trying to keep these a little shorter than I have been, I'm trying to keep myself focused as much as possible, focused, but still getting, sharing the messages that need to be shared. Slow and steady wins the race. And this was actually one of the cards you, if you came by the, uh, the page yesterday, I posted three cards and um, followers were asked to intuitively choose one card that was meant for them and then I shared at the end of the day what that message was and um, I had a few people take me up on, on it and uh, I heard that the messages that they 
did receive really, really uh, resonated with them. I actually had a friend who she, she wanted to choose this card, which was the A card. She wanted to choose it, but something kept telling her and nagging at her that the card and message meant for her was C. And it turned out that A was the turtle spirit and she has a connection to turtles, to turtle. And, um, but she said that the, the message for C, she definitely needed to hear. So, so yeah, that was definitely interesting. And um, I'm gonna start doing that about once a week. And I think maybe, maybe Tuesdays, I'll start doing that. But um, I thought it, it gave everybody an opportunity to use their own intuition in, in some respects. And so, um, so yeah, but turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. And as I was saying, this is, we're in the energy where things really start to slow down, where, where mother earth starts the energy, her energy starts slowing down and, um, and the other animals, because we are part of the animal kingdom, um, are preparing to go indoors, like the bears. They are preparing to hibernate, so they're eating a bit and, and gaining weight, and they're not alone. <laughs> so, um, bear is one of my, my uh, power animals and spirit animals. And, uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'm slowing down. I, I'm feeling that energy. I'm slowing down. And, and, um, uh, so I don't know if you're in, encountering the same, same feeling, but we're being asked to slow down, slow and steady wins the race. And then one more peacock spirit, let it shine. And I love the, the light shining from Peacock's heart. So, slow down, go within, connect with your spirit, connect with our spirits, and let that light shine. Let that light shine. And... I just wanted to um, say that these messages, I do them on certain days. I do them on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but they are evergreen. Basically what that means is anytime that you are drawn to listen to one particular video, it means that there is a message in there for you that spirit wanted you to receive i hope that you found this helpful and as i said i do this on mondays wednesdays and fridays mondays tend to be longer but i am trying to keep these shorter and um, honor your time and mine so until next time dear friend i hope you are well and that you continue to to remain well until I see you again. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.